it's Keely here for Soy and Shay and thank you so much for joining me for today's behind the scenes video. Today I'm going to take you along as I make some rainbow embeds to go on the next soap. So the next soap is rainbow inspired but I didn't want to do the typical layers of rainbow but still wanted to get those colours in. So what we're going to make today is a little rolled up um, roll of rainbow colors and then chop them up into a rainbow arc and I'm also going to extrude some extra soap dough and make some little rainbow drops so let's go and make them okay so let's make this rainbow topper piece that we're going to do I'm going to start off with some white and I'm going to make my center piece in the white and then wrap all the colors around so I'm going to break myself off in fact I'll probably use most of that I'm going to roll this into a nice cylindrical piece which is nice and hopefully smooth and even piece is looking pretty good this is really really long so I'm gonna grab my little tin and I have got my cutters I am going to cut that one in half and we're probably only going to use that one half there because I'm going to be rolling the next bit of soap dough out I am going to use a little bit of biodegradable film although I don't have much issue with this soap dough sticking to my bench it's always better to be safe than sorry um, looking at a rainbow we always have red on the outside and it comes down into indigo and for the first time ever I am actually going to put both purples into my rainbow so the indigo and the violet usually if I do a layered soap I only put the one purple because it's just that a little bit easier but this time around let's go for that extra purple I'm gonna break a bit off I'm going to start just conditioning this up a little bit then I'm gonna roll it out that out I've used these boards here to get myself the same thickness so all of my layers of color are going to be the same these are the sort of insert pieces from out of the um, what do they call it it's the separator part that goes with the five pound um, nurture soap molds um, the sort of swirl divider things so I'm going to use those to guide my rolling pin so we end up with the same thickness on each of these colors going to get into this purple if I can so I'm into my purple piece here I am going to pop this one on the top here I have a little bit of distilled water in here I'm going to use my brush I'm going to wet the soap just so that all of my layers stick together well and now what I'm going to do is roll this white piece in here but what I will start by doing is creating a nice straight edge because that is always easier to join straight edges together when we roll it around it wasn't quite wide enough that's all okay we'll use some of this to fill in that's the other reason for chopping it off Give that a roll to get it nice and smooth and to make sure that it is well stuck together okay so there is the first layer of our rainbow all done up here it has got really really windy outside so hopefully it's not going to make too much noise on the camera uh, so we've got that first color next I'm going to do the similar but with the darker purple here I will need a little bit more by the time I get up to the red I'm going to be needing a lot more of that color because you um, we'll need a bigger piece each time we wrap it.
right so we're down to our very last color hopefully I do have enough here to wrap around if not I actually don't need the whole length of this so I can always trim it down and get a little bit more off but let's see how we go so that's the red starting to stick A little bit short so I'm going to rip some of this from off the end because we're not going to need any of that. We're going to fill in this gap in here, give it a good roll and smooth it on out. Alright so that is all rolled together. I'm going to leave it sit here for about five minutes just to let it rest and all come together. Okay so I don't know if anyone noticed but off to the corner I was keeping myself little pieces of each of the colours because I want to make some little rainbow raindrops to go on the inside of this soap. So I have got my extruder tool and I'm using one of the discs that it comes with which is a little raindrop. Just going to roll out my bit of soap dough pop it on inside we'll pop our extruding bit on and we're gonna wind out some long thin strands of these raindrops and I'm going to do one of each oh, of the colors to go in here not bothered if there's a few little kinks in here but I'm gonna try and get them so that they're not twisted so they'll be the right way when they go into the soap now I know that this here is about one centimeter shorter than my mold so I'm just going to line that up against the end and I'm going to cut these down to size about there and I'm going to do the same for each of my rainbow colors we have all of our little rainbow drops I'm just going to pop them onto my piece of paper here wrap them up in some biofilm until I am ready to use them so that they don't dry out too much and then we're going to get on to fixing up this rainbow piece okay so I'm going to use the single bar cutter so we get some really nice clean smooth lines that needs a little bit of a tightening it's better first thing I'm going to do is chop off this um, really rough looking end here I might just pull that one back a little bit more so we're gonna chop that end off and that needs a little bit more of a roll and say but that is the start of our rainbow how awesome does that look what I will do with this piece though because we're not going to use it I will end up kind of while it's still not set up and hard I'm just going to undo all of these pieces pop them back into my soap dough box so I can use them for some future projects but what we will do with this one does need just that little bit more of a roll to get those layers to stick so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually set my cutter so that it's about just over half a centimeter thick that is looking not quite a centimeter because I don't have enough to do a whole centimeter but a little bit under there that is looking good set that one and we're going to chop our rounds Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to loosen that off and I'm going to cut all of these in half. Like so. And that will be what goes on top of the next soap. I absolutely love how they have come up. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to keep going through cutting all of these in half. I hope you have enjoyed coming along as I make my rainbow embeds for the next soap. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below? And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to the channel and it will let you know when I'm making the soap that these embeds are going to go on. So until the next video comes out, I hope you have a great one and I will see you then. Bye.